In the lowland forests of Asia, there is an insect with a very scary reputation. They fly out of their lair and go in search of victims. Despite their short lifespan, they cause the death of up to 40 people per year. It is difficult not to hear this winged army, but it will be even more difficult to hide from it. You are on the Animal Instinct channel, and today we are reviewing the giant hornet Vespa mandarinia. Don't forget to rate this video and subscribe to the channel as we get started. Vespa mandarinia. This is the name of the species that is perhaps the most dangerous and certainly the largest representative of the family of true wasps. A huge insect whose body length can be more than two inches and its wingspan up to three inches. Sharp claws grabbing the victim. Strong jaws like axes tearing apart everything that hits them. And complex eyes that do not miss the slightest movement. It is also an extremely toxic poison, which is injected using a six millimeter long sting. Add here high aggressiveness and developed social behavior, and it becomes clear why the Asian hornet's reputation is not the most enviable. And it lives not only in Asia, where it is found from India to Japan, but also in our Far East. Moreover, in 2019, this species was discovered in Canada and the United States, which greatly alarmed beekeepers. After all, like ants and bees, a colony of hornets is a single organism that moves unhindered towards its goal. These giants live only six months a year, but during this time they manage to do a lot of things. It all starts around April, when the awakened queens of the Asian hornet emerge from under the foliage. In late autumn, immediately after mating, they went into hibernation to survive the rainy season. Now each queen has only one task, to grow her army. But first you need to find a suitable place for this. Hornets usually build their nests in hollow trees, old stumps, or even underground. The main thing here is protection from the sun, wind, and precipitation. The queen uses rotten wood for this purpose, which she mixes with saliva to form something like paper. Typically, such a nest resembles the shape of an inverted bowl and is typical for all types of hornets. When the first stage is completed, she lays one egg in each comb from which only female warriors will emerge. The queen has to completely provide food for the first generation of larvae because there is no one else to do this. She works non-stop, bringing food to the larvae every day and completing the nest. Two weeks after birth, the larvae are ready for transformation. They begin to secrete silk, which they use to seal the entrance hole. And after another two weeks, the silk door is gnawed from the inside by sharp mandibles and the colony is replenished with a new fighter. By the way, other hornets do not help in the birth and each one must cut his own way out of the room. There have even been cases where hornets got stuck in an insufficiently open passage and died, and the queen can now concentrate her efforts on laying eggs, and the colony will grow even faster. It is worth noting that hornets very competently design their nest and provide good ventilation, because when there are many individuals inside, the temperature rises, which can cause the death of larvae and even adults. And their size is also determined by the warm climate because a larger body surface dissipates heat better. But even with all this, there are usually guards at the entrance to the nest who, if necessary, turn on the forced air supply with their wings. And the nests themselves sometimes turn out to be very large. Hornets often use human buildings or forgotten machines for this purpose. It will not be easy to get rid of such neighbors because as soon as you get closer, the entire squad will fly out to defend their home. Asian hornets have a very toxic venom containing mandrotoxin. When it enters the bloodstream, it destroys nerve cells and can cause anaphylactic shock. And besides, the hornet venom also contains cytotoxins that destroy skin tissue, which aggravates the situation. The fact that the poison is introduced into the body means a lot. And when one individual attacks, it releases pheromones that force other hornets to attack again and again. Coyote Peterson showed the aftermath of a giant hornet attack, and frankly, it's not a pretty sight. The pain from the bite is not so severe that the person is likely to fall to the ground. Look how swollen his hand is. So coming close to a nest or trying to get rid of a hornet nest on your own is extremely dangerous. Meanwhile, the queen has already spread her empire enough. By June, July, there are approximately 50 workers and up to 100 larvae in the nest. The young animals' rooms are overcrowded. Hungry mouths are everywhere. The larvae scratch the walls of their rooms, causing the hornets to act. And everything would be fine if, looking at their elders, they ate the juices of plants and fruits. But no, the larvae eat exclusively meat. Every day, scouts fly out from the house in search of food, and they fly quite a lot. For example, 
Hornets can accelerate up to 40 kilometers per hour and fly up to five kilometers from the nest. And the best they can find is a hive of European bees. Having discovered an enemy target, the scout marks it with pheromones, which the main squad will follow. The bees, who also sense the enemy, meet him at the entrance. But the forces here are not equal. Hornets are five times the size of bees and are much more aggressive. With powerful mandibles, they easily cut bees in half and throw their bodies down. But the sting of bees does practically no harm to the raiders. In one minute, a giant hornet can kill 40 bees. There is no place for heroism here. But the brave bees will not give up and will not run away. Such a massacre can last for several hours. And a squad of 30 hornets is capable of completely destroying a hive of 30,000 bees. And after the massacre, the robbery begins, in which soldiers take away the larvae left unprotected. They will be chewed up, and the protein shake will be fed to the hornet larvae. But the larvae also do not remain in debt, and after eating, they secrete droplets of liquid. It is a mixture of amino acids, which is necessary for adults, because they cannot digest solid food. According to one version, thus, the larvae make adult insects more willing to bring them food. According to another version, the larvae feed workers this way during bad weather when flying to hunt is not possible. As it were, these are amazing examples of the interaction of not survive without each other. But those were European bees, which had never seen such an enemy and were only introduced to the Asian region in the 20th century. And here are the Japanese bees, even though they are just as small, but they have evolved for centuries alongside this threat. When a scout finds a hive, then the bees do not meet him at the entrance. They act like nothing happened, and even vice versa, climb back home. Their task is to lure the enemy inside. The bees stick to all the walls of the hive and seem to be waiting for a command to rush into battle. An attack on one of your own is a signal to everyone else, and the bees immediately form a tight ball around the hornet. They begin to rub against the wings, increasing the temperature of the ball where the enemy is located. They heat up to 46 degrees, something no hornet can withstand, and he is literally fried. And although it will be problematic to stop a squad of hornets using this method, the scouts can usually be dealt with. Interestingly, European bees are beginning to show similar tactics when a common hornet approaches them. They also stick around it on all sides and try to fry it inside the hive. Well, and then the hornet's body is already thrown down. Although still hornets, like Asian ones, as well as ordinary ones, greatly annoy beekeepers and can cause the death of entire bee colonies. Therefore, traps are often set for them on the lids of hives, and then the next morning you can find such a picture. But it's not just bees that are the target of these striped bandits. They will gladly attack a wasp nest if they find him. And these are also aggressive guys who just won't give up. And you can see such a battle, wasps are faster and more agile than bees. Therefore, it is unlikely that it will be possible to simply behead them. Unfortunately unknown, how did this raid end? This horde attacks anyone it wants, even on other hornets. Vespa mandarinia was recognized as the most aggressive species of hornet, holding on to victory 98% of the time. Even yellow hornets off, which there can be up to one and a half thousand individuals in a colony, unable to resist them. After a short confrontation, they simply take up and desert, leaving their offspring. And even between their colonies, they often have clashes. Asian hornets do not hesitate to attack weaker families and destroy their colonies. In such a battle, it is impossible to understand who wins until the plundering begins. The invaders have won and will now feast on the larvae of the alien colony. But Asian hornets don't just attack bees. They can attack almost any other insect. Even the dangerous praying mantis usually becomes the hornet's prey. And they often attack them, although it is more important who strikes first. After all, if a praying mantis successfully grabs a hornet, it will be difficult to get out of such a grip. And the green fighter immediately begins to eat its prey. And even mice can become the target of the Asian hornet. Moreover, in this fight, he behaves very aggressively. He grabbed onto the mouse and did not let go, continuing to sting along the way. And although the hornet soon flew away, it is not known whether the mouse will come to its senses. Therefore, it is absolutely not surprising that a hornet attacks a cicada. This is one of the longest living insects and can live up to 17 years. True, unless he meets an Asian hornet. 
Look how he puts the cicada on his shoulder blades and begins to cut it up. Why are there cicadas? I found an old video of an Asian hornet fighting a scorpion. He shows himself very actively and constantly tries to attack the poisonous tail. But Scorpio has to defend itself more. And surprisingly, the hornet emerges victorious from such a fight. But of course, he is no rival to the Imperial Scorpion. And the black fighter quickly took revenge for his relative. But there is very powerful armor here, which the sting cannot penetrate or the mandibles can penetrate. So there would be nothing to be afraid of such a big guy. But this one has no protection at all, neither from bites nor from sharp stings. But the hornet does not dare to descend to her ground. And he does the right thing because as soon as the frog gets to him, she, almost without blinking an eye, swallows this dangerous, poisonous warrior. It's really not you when you're hungry. Now you know what kind of pet you should get if you are afraid of Asian hornets. Did you like the video? Then don't forget to rate it because I will be happy with any of your ratings. Write in the comments, maybe I missed something. Subscribe to the channel and be sure to turn on notifications. And I say goodbye to you for a while. Bye.